I, I, I did. Well, I, I have something for you to fact check, however. Okay. This is the uh, Nobel Peace Prize Award for 2009, the press release. Mm-hmm. And give me a sense of how many of these things you think the president has actually accomplished. Because remember, he'd only been in office for a couple of weeks, um, a couple of months, I guess, before he they figured out they were going to give Barack Obama the Nobel Peace Prize for these following reasons. Obama has, as president, created a new climate in international politics. Mm. I, w- I would say true. Worse. Mm-hmm. Multilateral diplomacy has regained a central position with emphasis on the role of the United Nations and other international institutions. That's probably true, too. That's probably true, I would Mm -hmm. say. I mean, again, this is all completely negative, but yes, I would say that's actually accurate. The vision of a world free from nuclear arms has powerfully stimulated disarmament and arms control negotiations. Mm. Well, unilateral arms control negotiations, yeah, it kind of has. Uh, we have been offering pretty much to disarm, mm-hmm. to get rid of our nukes. Um, I don't see the Russians jumping on that bandwagon at all, but uh, I guess you I, could kind of say that's true I as can't well. say that one's true, though. I mean, the vision of a world free from nuclear arms has powerfully stimulated disarmament and arms control negotiations. Well, I mean, maybe they've they've done the negotiations. They just mm-hmm. haven't done anything. They haven't true. resulted in anything. Yeah. So maybe if you're just saying... People have started talking more with no results. Okay, I'll give you that one. Uh, Then, thanks to Obama's initiative, the USA is now playing a more constructive role in meeting the great climactic challenges the world is now confronting. Now, remember, we have done absolutely nothing on the climate. Nothing. They had the the Copenhagen thing and the Brazil thing and Rio. None of that amounted into anything. So, again, more talks with no results. And in this case, thankfully, no results, but no cap and trade. No, none of the stuff that he got credit for here, which would have been horribly, uh, I mean, awful for our country and our economy, actually happened. So that one we can say is luckily uh, untrue. Then I like this. This is the next sentence. Democracy and human rights are to be strengthened. <laughs> are to be? They are to be. Okay. Now, have they are hmm. to be yet? I, I don't uh, know. No. Democracy the art to being has not occurred. Have not occurred. Art to be. They're not to but be. But they right are now. to be. Well, I guess you could say that in the future, at some point, y- like yes. millions of years from now, they will be strengthened, probably. Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe. So they are to be. Okay. Uh, so that. So we'll give them that. Only very rarely has a person, uh, to the same extent as Obama, captured the world's attention, and that that one you could probably say is true. He has a lot of attention, and given its people hope for a better future. His diplomacy is founded in the concept that those who are to lead the world must do so on the basis of values and attitudes that are shared by the majority of the world's population. Man, if sorry, that ain't no, true. I'm not buying that. I don't know. I mean, think about that. Think about mm. what because this is. Remember, this is the Nobel Peace Prize people. Mm-hmm. What they're saying is, no longer will they hold these American values. They will now care about what our values are. Oh well, that's yeah. I think that's accurate. I guess so. So I, I think. Based on the, the the criteria presented by the Nobel Committee, I think he's actually pretty much lived up to this. 